Riding the data wave is the topic of uh, a session in the ITU World Congress, which will be held in uh, November. And uh, I'm chairing that particular session. And it's going to deal with a very important uh, issue that's affecting the operators around the world, whether they be fixed operators or whether they be mobile operators. And the fact is that we do have a what may be called a perfect storm, a perfect storm of the convergence of information, entertainment, uh, and the devices by which that information and entertainment can be both displayed and communicated. We have changes that are occurring in social media, uh, the Facebooks and Googles of this world, and uh, the way that people want to continuously communicate with um, their pages and their friends via those social media. All of this is placing high demand on both the networks that exist in people's homes, uh, offices, uh, and elsewhere indeed uh, around the streets uh, of the cities that they live in. The thing is that people today want to be able to upload and download information when and where they want at an affordable price. And this is the challenge that's facing operators today is how that they deliver on that, considering that this data usage is increasing year by year. In fact, uh, according to people like Cisco, and even repeated in some of the ITU publications, we're looking at a, um, an annual growth rate that's around 75% per annum and expected to be so between 2012 and 2017. That's something like a 17-fold increase in the amount of data that's been carried on networks today. So the challenge is how do we shoehorn that data in to those existing networks? How do we upgrade or evolve those networks to new technologies, whether they be fiber or whether they be 3G or 4G technologies? This in turn is placing a challenge to regulators, the regulators that have to uh, enable the networks to introduce these new technologies. And if we're talking about mobile, that's essentially around spectrum. So spectrum is the ground floor, is the foundation for building the mobile networks of the future. And the thing is that we need more and more of that spectrum dedicated to mobile if we're going to be able to achieve this sort of result. Now, this is not easy because that spectrum is not sitting there vacant today. It's occupied by many services. So the regulators have to work out ways in which they can placate and move those existing users to enable these new frequencies to be made available. And even then, uh, the challenge for the operators themselves is affording the spectrum. There's a, currently an auction going on in Taiwan. Uh, um, it's up to around about 340 rounds on that auction. The prices that are being paid are roughly double that of what the base price was. Now, this in turn is affecting you know, the shareholders of those companies, uh, their ability to continue to provide dividends. Um, they've got to buy that spectrum. Then they've got to spend even more money on the technologies that will utilize that spectrum. So this, this is a continuous challenge. I look at a mobile network particularly as being a living, growing thing, something that you don't just build and forget, but every day you go back to it and work out new ways that you can optimize that network to deliver a good quality service to the customers. And those customers, of course, uh, every few months are getting and buying new technologies and now we're seeing in particular iPads, tablet uh, computers replacing the PCs. And these tablet computers are both Wi-Fi enabled and enabled for the mobile networks themselves. Um, and that will drag down ever higher quality um, and higher data usage, information and entertainment, again, to be supported on these networks. So it's an economic challenge for the networks to be able to afford those technologies. Uh, it's a regulatory challenge 
for them to put in place the laws that will facilitate on a even-handed, um, affordable basis. So these are things that uh, are being addressed variously uh, by countries around the world. Uh, the more developed countries are perhaps are well in advance of putting in place the right sort of conditions, such as spectrum auctions that can take place. Other countries that are still utilizing older regulatory regimes have a great deal of difficulty in dealing with that incumbency that they have to face. The topic, going back to it, is riding the data wave. The question is, are you going to be on top of that wave? Or are you going to be underneath that wave? This is a challenge, as I say, that faces the network operators and the regulators around the world. And these issues need to be addressed, and they need to be addressed now.